Welcome back to Good Morning Vale and thanks for joining us today. A lot of times our kids are raised skiing and snowboarding and guess what? They become really good at it. And joining me now is a local Eagle resident. His name is Jake Pates and he's on the U.S. snowboard team. Thanks for coming in today, Jake. Yeah, thanks for having me. Did you get Appreciate any powder it. yesterday? Um, I did. We went up to Beaver Creek for a little bit with the family yeah. and uh, yeah, did some laps there. It was super fun. Okay, so I'm just going to like drill you with some questions right now because oh, it's really interesting that, you know, young kids around here become great skiers and snowboarders. That's kind of what you've done. Were you born here in the valley? Um, no, I was actually born in Boulder. Okay. Um, and then I moved up here when I was super young and kind of been back and forth from the Aspen Valley and here and just mm -hmm. yeah, I've been living here for a while. So. And so your family's an Eagle? Mm -hmm. And yep. you're 17, so that would make you what, a junior in high school? Yep. How do you be on the U.S. snowboarding team and study? Because the, the mom in me is going to come out a little yeah, bit. Exactly. Like, how are you doing your homework? Yeah, no, it's really hard to balance. Um, so I've just been doing like homeschool and I do it online. Okay. Um, so when I travel and stuff, it it's just really easy so I can take all my work with me. Mm -hmm do it that way and uh, yeah it's a lot better okay so now let's talk about the fun stuff okay. snowboarding so you started snowboarding when you were like eight years old or something eight years old yeah yeah and it, I mean I'm a snowboarder too and you tell anybody out there like the first couple of days it hurts like your learning curve must be painful have you banged yourself up pretty good yep I've had plenty of falls <laughs> So you, you and the doctors like know each other. Exactly. They're like, oh, Jake, come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, you're back. Okay. Oh, you're here. When you started snowboarding, were you like just doing the groomers or did the park resonate with you right away? Um, yeah, I was in the groomers a little bit yeah. when I started and then uh, kind of just veered my way towards ollieing and trying little tricks on the mm -hmm. slopes without being in the park. And then, uh, yeah, kind of moved my way into the park after that. Is so. that what you do on the U.S. snowboard team? Yes, I'm in uh, half pipe training, half pipe? so I compete half pipe and half slope pipe. style mostly. Okay, slope yep. style is when you're going down the slope and there's all these big jumps and you're flipping and turning and all that kind of stuff. Jumps half miles, pipe, yeah. half pipe is just the big humongous half pipe that we yeah, see. Exactly. That uh -huh. seems like a scary thing to me, but what about, do you have a signature jump or something that you like to do? Um, not really, I kind of, I like to have my own unique tricks mm -hmm. um, that I do pull out in my run. Um, and there's a couple of them, but yeah, I don't know. Nothing signature. Like you just kind of yeah, just exactly. go rip it up. Now, okay, and I always wonder about like the rippers in the park and on on the half pipe. When it's a powder day, are you bummed or are you like, yeah, I'm gonna go get the trees? Oh no, I love powder. Okay, yeah, so you I like do. everything on the mountain yeah, on your snowboard. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Did you ever ski? I did. I skied until I was eight years old. Okay. Like, yeah, started when I was about four or so. And then you switched over. Mm -hmm. And what what do you do on the U.S. snowboard snowboard team? When when are the competitions? How does that work? Yeah. So we have. Um, they have the signature U.S. snowboard team competitions. They have the World Cups and the Grand Prix. Okay. Um, there's a Grand Prix in Mammoth Lakes, California, actually coming up in about three weeks. You we have to go there, and then there's one in Park City afterwards. Um, so yeah, there's a Grand Prix tour, and then outside of that tour is just kind of the pro tour mm -hmm. and all the other events, such as like the Burton U.S. Open, mm -hmm. which we have here in Vail. Are you going to be um, in that? I am. Yes, oh, good. I'll be doing that. I'm very excited for that. Will you come back so in fun. and tell us all, like, oh, give us course. the behind the scenes at the Burton U.S. Open? Yeah, okay. I'd love to. Okay, that would be great. And so what are you doing now to train for the Grand Prix that you're going to be competing in? Yeah, so I have a pretty busy uh, training schedule. I have my um, new personal trainer, Nikki Costello, and uh, we've been working out some programs that I've been doing mm -hmm. off the snow and pretty much just ride until until I want to be done and then go right to the gym and do my thing. So. And you and you ride goofy. That's your stance, yep, right? right? So the all the time. Uh, exactly. It's all right. Okay, yeah. well, good. I'm glad that you got out with the family yesterday. And you can see, see, we can raise good snowboarders and skiers, and they're still going to ski with their mom and dad every once in a while. No doubt. Um, well, how can we find you online so we can, like, follow your career this winter? Sure. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Jake Pates. And I have a Facebook at Jake Pates also. Twitter is mm -hmm. also there. Um, and then you can find me on the Rockstar Energy website. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Good for you, Jake. Way to go. We're yeah, going to be following you. you here on TV8, and we're going to be rooting for it. you. So thanks for coming in this thank morning. Thank you so much. Jake Pates is with the U.S. Snowboard Team. We'll be checking in with him throughout the season and also with the Burton Open coming up. Right now, though, we're heading out to the TV8 back deck where Mark Sassy is going to give us a look at that weather forecast.